Good morning. I'm Rahel Solomon with your morning digital news brief for Tuesday, February 20th. An investigation is underway into the cause of a house fire in West Philadelphia. Fire broke out shortly before 2 this morning on the 700 block of South Cecil Street. Firefighters worked quickly to put out the fire. No one was hurt. And Philadelphia officials say a fire has left an old city building imminently dangerous and will have to come down. The city, however, hopes to keep the facade at least of 239 Chestnut Street. It dates back to the 1850s. The building caught fire Sunday morning. Alan I says the property appears to be a total loss. There are now fears that the building will collapse. And this is the new map for Pennsylvania's 18 congressional districts just in time for the next campaign. The state Supreme Court redrew the map after it ruled that the old boundaries were unconstitutional, saying it favored GOP candidates. The state Democratic Party likes it, but Pennsylvania's Republican Party tells Loudness News a legal challenge is already in the works. Okay, let's check in now with meteorologist Katie Failinger. And Katie, it will be a warm day, especially for February standards. Very much so, Rahel. Yeah, you know, we're really several months ahead of schedule with the kind of temperatures we're expecting both today and tomorrow, but it's just the way this pattern is unfolding. A very large, expansive system allowed a warm front to live through yesterday, so now we've got two days straight of very warm air, but also moisture-laden air, and so as a result, dense fog has been an issue throughout the morning, and our advisory lasts until 10 a.m., but especially where you've been hit the hardest, with the fog, places like those outlying suburbs to the north and west of Philly, you could have it linger even a little bit later than that. But today's afternoon high hits 71. By that point, you're going to see a lot more sun out there. But the average high is only 45. So doing the math, 26 above average, and that's just today. Tomorrow, it's even warmer, 30 degrees above average by then. But a very similar scenario unfolding, likely to start off with some fog, then eventually breaking for some sun. Come Thursday, even as early as Wednesday night, in fact, a cold front crosses through. That brings more showers and sends those 70s packing. Rahel? All right, Katie, thank you. And remember, you can always get Katie's most up-to-date forecast and the latest stories right here on cbsphilly.com. That's the latest for the morning digital brief. I'm Rahel Solomon. Good morning.